Local mental health professionals say they've been receiving more calls from teens who are having a hard time not being able to see friends and that they're also feeling isolated and depressed during this time. 23 ABC's Bain Froney spoke with local mental health professionals to find out what some of the signs of depression and anxiety are and how to reach out to your child if they're hurting. Bain. That's right, Jess. So I spoke with behavioral health earlier today, and they told me that generally speaking, about one in five students usually have some sort of anxiety or depression during their high school or middle school years. With this, they've, got, they've gotten a lot more calls during this pandemic of teens reaching out for help. We do get a lot of calls from teens. They are talking about issues with their parents. They're talking about drug use. They're talking about being away from their friends, and they can't stand that. They're sometimes talking about suicide. Behavioral health officials say they've seen more teens calling for help who are battling anxiety and depression. They say those disorders can take on many different forms in teens. A lot of parents, especially with teens, all that they're just they're just acting that way because they're a teen. Uh, that could be, but I would rather ask and say, hey, are you okay? Behavioral health and Aspire Counseling Services say some of the main signs include self-isolating, feeling wound up, restlessness, difficulty sleeping, unexplained outbursts, a decline in academic performance, or overuse of drugs and alcohol. They say anxiety and depression can also take on forms of self-harm, such as cutting or eating disorders, especially in girls. But for boys, mental illness can look different. Young men, uh, you will see it in terms of irritability, agitation, um, acting out, explosiveness, because these are kind of the, the, the socially acceptable ways for boys to express their emotion. Professionals recommend creating a supportive environment to help your kid feel like they can express themselves. We're dealing with an illness process, so I don't know about you, but you know, when somebody is sick, the last thing I'm gonna do is come in there and, and you know, get aggressive with them or tell them everything they're doing wrong or criticizing. Again, you know, we're gonna apply love, we're gonna apply understanding and we're going to try to meet them where they are at. An open line of communication is key in helping your child be heard as well as getting medical and professional help. Ask them, find out what's going on. We know um, that if if we ask about it in a non-judgmental way, people will tell you. If you ever need help or just someone to talk to, you can head to a Behavioral Health uh, Crisis Hotline, and that number is 800-991-5272. For now in Bakersfield, I'm Bain Froney, 23ABC, connecting you.